miracles. We are all hearing a lot about it this time of year. We hear a lot about the miracles of the world, the miracles of our Lord, the miracles that we seek and desire, and we pray. And that is a given in any religion in any any area. There is always prayer when you want a miracle. So what I'm wondering here is how many of you realize, including myself, think that miracles, you may think they are the strongest at Christmas, yet we pray when we need a miracle. For all kinds of events, illnesses, jobs, family, you know, whatever's going on in our lives, when we feel like we need a miracle to happen for us, to us, or for anyone we love or care about, we pray that this miracle will happen. So why is it that people see this? Hold on. I was misspelled this word. Oh, I'll have to go back and fix it. Uh, see this as being a holiday thing that this would only come to you a Christmas miracle, a Christmas miracle. And you see a lot of it on programs that you watch, even on kids programs. And what happens is it's not so much just a miracle that we're waiting for these miracles to come to us. It is actually a flood of euphoria that was coming from us. It is, it just floods from us to us when we are wanting something that we don't have control over. And what you think is that that is basically what a miracle is. It's something that you need to happen because you don't have control over that. And so you need that to happen for you. Maybe you have a loved one that's ill. Maybe they've been battling, you know, a disease or, you know, whatever there's, whatever's going on around you in your world, in your family, in your circle. And we all have a circle of people that we associate with, that we take care of, that we love. And we have friends, we have family, and we have, you know, co-workers and, you know, different types of people. But when you're looking for a miracle, don't you get that feeling inside of you that just wells up? It's just like, oh my gosh, I've got to make this happen. I've got to pray. I've got to pray. I've got to pray. Which, don't read me wrong, guys. I pray all the time. And what I'm thinking here is, like I said, there's so much on the programs right now this time of year of a Christmas miracle of, okay, I believe, I need, I want, I desire, and this will happen for me. Well, when you get that much emotion and that much energy coming around you from other people, from yourself, when that much kinetic energy is there and it is just flooding from you, there's no doubt that something's going to happen, that something is going to come to light. So when you have your emotions and they're all wound up and they're all right there and you just want to make them better and you want to make everything happy and you want this to be the best Christmas ever or you want all of your family to be well, of course we do. That's a given. But when you have this flood of emotion, it is like euphoric. And if you've, you've had it, I know you have. And it's just maybe you haven't realized it or recognized it for what it is. So take the time every day that you are saying your prayers, that you are asking God to do this or to do that or to help you in whatever area that you are requiring to get assistance. Now, we find that when it's something that's really bad, that, you know, maybe you're going to lose your home or, you know, whatever's happening. That is a very strong emotion. And when you're listening to the news and the broadcasts out there that are so negative 
and the world's coming to an end. We all know there's a lot going on in the world. Oh, thank you. We know there's a lot going on, and we can't just bury our heads in the sand. I've been told that several times. We have to realize that, yes, we are in this area. Yes, we do have this reality setting before us. It doesn't mean you can't take action on it. It just doesn't mean don't give it so much energy that this negative thing is going to be powered more and more by us, the people. So when you do that and you just take your energy and put it focused where you want it to go, like I said, it really helps if it's, you know, if you have an illness in the family or if something's, you know, just not going right for you and you need guidance, you need help. When you feel so strong, just feel it. Just take the time, take a moment in your day and feel how that feeling inside of you just explodes with love and joy and want and need and caring. And if it is a loved one that you have in your life that is ill, you will realize that as you're sitting there and you're praying for this person, feel that emotion that's coming from you. Feel how awesome that emotion is. And you want to transfer that emotion to the person that's ill to give them comfort and guidance and love. And that is a given. We do that. It's just who we are. We are, we are human people and that is how we express and how we do. And we pray and we want guidance and we want this miracle to happen for our loved ones. So if you think... Just think for a minute, and this is not a criticizing on anybody or anyone's religion or anything, because if you think that miracles only happen at Christmas, that miracles only happen when we pray, think about it. When do the miracles that you need have happen? Is it when you feel the most emotion for them? When you're putting forward a flood of euphoric energy just a flood and I know I misspelled it in my header up here I'll fix it but when you push that forward and you fix that and you make it happy and you make it good then why not move forward why not feel that feeling every single day when you feel the flood of euphoric energy coming from you, you can make your business work. You can make your sales increase. You can make your events that you're planning come together beautifully. You can help with any illnesses that are with you in yourself or your friends or your family. That energy is so powerful, guys. It is so powerful. And you can help with your job. If you are still struggling with your job and you need to have that raise or you need to have an increase in your income or whatever it is, it doesn't matter because when you have your energy in focus with what you want to happen, and I mean you have to actually be in focus with it. You can't just be sometimes, okay, I'll, I'll just pray and I'll say, you know, I, I want this or I need that. That's not a prayer. That is just you talking. You know what a prayer is. A prayer is when you have the feeling and it just gets down deep and you're like, oh, please, please, please help this person. Please, please, please help guide this person to the other world. Help guide this person to release them from their pain, from their suffering. It may be that you're praying for them to be cured when it's their time to go but you need to be helping them to make the path to follow the path and to let them know it's okay so the more you have your energy your emotions focused on what you need to happen what you want to happen it's going to happen one way or the other. It may not be the way you want it, but a miracle comes in very, very many different 
shapes and forms and times and ways. The miracle that you're looking for just might be the miracle of you stepping up, the miracle of you believing, the miracle of you taking the steps. That could be a miracle in itself. You taking the steps you need to create the lifestyle you want, to create the home business that you desire, to have your family together with you, to express the love and the joy that you have when you have that loving energy in one place at one time. It is just amazing. And when you let yourself feel that, I mean, really let yourself feel it because if you don't let yourself feel it, then how are you going to pass it on to others that you love and you care about? You have to let yourself have those emotions. And the flood of euphoric energy that comes from you, it is just, it's amazing. You just, I cannot express enough how amazing this is. And you will see it, you will feel it, and it will be all around you. And why can't you see that? You don't know. Okay, I'm trying to adjust that word I misspelled it irritates me. But for me, as you guys know, I am religious and I do. I pray every day and I meditate. I meditate on what I want in my life. I meditate and what I do when I meditate, I am connecting myself with God. I'm connecting myself with a higher being, a higher force. And in my meditations, I often get inquiries or answers or different things that I'm asking or feeling I'll get what I need come to me for that and it's amazing and when you do that you are unstoppable you are unstoppable and when you have your flood of euphoric energy I can't just express that enough to help you to let you know that that is just amazing that you can have that come to you anytime, not just during Christmas. The reason why people think it's so strong, I think, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct my thinking, is because at Christmas, our emotions are higher because there's more focus on giving. There's more focus on charity. There's more focus on feeding people. There's more focus on giving. There's more focus on everything around us during Christmas. And I think that, I think that is why I'm seeing so much everywhere of people asking for donations, asking for money, asking for this, asking for that. And we give freely, right? Most of us give freely to help other people. And you know what? It doesn't have to be just during Christmas. But that energy, and if you'll feel, and you go around a lot of people that are in that energy, that energy is so amazing. And it just surrounds you and holds you. And it just makes you irritated, makes you fussy, makes you grumpy. All the above. That's just, that's energy. And when you get so many people mixing our energies together, you really can't go wrong. You really can't. You have to feel and you have to have emotions. It's, it is how they start. They start with our emotions. Every energy starts with an emotion. So whatever emotions you have going on, whatever emotions that you are feeling, when you focus those emotions on what you want to have happen, what you need to have happen, and when you're praying for your miracle, then your emotions are high. Your emotions are strong. But when you're praying for your miracle, it's really hard to say, but sometimes the miracle you want isn't the miracle the person needs. So keep that into consideration as you are asking for your Christmas miracles. And we all do it. And we all have that 
in us to do that. So just keep in mind that anything you desire, anything you want on everything around us. So thank you for joining me and please like and share my broadcast so that I can keep on the air because the algorithms in Facebook are knocking us off right and left. So and go over to my blog because I'm going to have this on my blog and more. And please subscribe to my blog. I have so much going on over there. Okay, guys, I will chat with you later. And again, a flood of euphoric emotions is so powerful. Life is emotions. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. And have a super, super great day. Bye-bye.